Oculus Quest frees you to enjoy VR untethered. You can play games in room scale with the ability to walk around in the play area or in stationary mode, standing or sitting in one place. Your space and preference will dictate which mode works best for you. First, let's clear out a play area. Room scale works best with six and a half by six and a half feet of space or larger. Once you've cleared as much room as possible, put on the headset to begin Guardian setup. Remember to always wear your touch wrist straps when in VR. When putting on the headset for the first time, you should see what we call pass-through. Pass-through is a new Oculus feature which allows you to take a quick look at the outside world to help you get oriented in space while wearing the device. Pass-through is essential in creating your play area. The first step in pass-through is to calibrate tracking by setting the floor. To calibrate and set the height of the floor, gently place your controller on the ground and look at it. You should see a virtual grid appear near the floor. Once the grid is correctly locked at floor height, hit continue. Next, it's time to define your play area. Defining your play area will help Guardian notify you if you start to move outside of it. Point the controller at the ground and use the trigger button on the controller to trace a play area. Be sure to leave extra space between the play area and your walls, furniture, and other obstructions. You can skip this step if you don't want to walk around in VR and just want to use Oculus Quest in a stationary seated or stationary standing position. Once you hit continue, you'll see the blue guardian boundary tracing your play area. You'll get a warning if you get too close to the edge of this area or step outside. Check that this boundary is correctly positioned and clear of any obstructions. If Guardian is not drowned correctly or you want to change the boundary, click the back arrow to restart the Guardian setup. To learn more about your Oculus Quest, you can watch more of this tutorial series or follow the support center link in the reference guide. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in VR.